warrior. I am so shocked that the recent documentary, Quiet on Set, hasn't gotten more attention, more play, more reaction, more take actions. It's kind of like it, it came and it went. I just finished watching episode five, which I understand they included very last minute. They called together some more interviews. They repeated some of the uh, past four episodes of the documentary. But what I'm shocked about is that all of this predation was going on 20 plus years ago at Nickelodeon. And despite, despite one going to jail, another going to jail, another was accused of something, these men were allowed to continue working in the business on other children's programming. I find it shocking. Even though they were on the sex offender uh, registry, the sex offenders registry list, Now we have a Drake Bell coming forward, troubled. If you look at his history, you read about him. But let's get at perhaps why he's had all these troubles, that, that, I don't like to say, but that root cause of these troubles. We know children who act out, teens who act out, all people who act out, is usually a reaction of something much deeper. Something's hurting them. So now we have in 2024, five episodes of this documentary, five parts. We don't have a lot of the main players that we've heard about for years. You know, the Amanda Bynes, the Miranda Cosgrove. um, And it makes you really wonder. So although the initial reaction was a little bit, you know, about quiet on set, here we are. Here we are still not really addressing what's going on. Why isn't there more noise? Why aren't more people held responsible for all of this? I am so surprised that 20 years ago, you know, if you research this, at the time it was hardly a blurb going on. Of course, planned. So if media didn't cover it, then how could the business, how could the public know about it? But to hear Drake Bell, say he showed up in court with his mom and his brothers and his side of the court, that was it. And the other side was full of um, people coming together for this, this Brian Peck to say that, you know, we will attest to his good character and what a great guy he is. And okay, maybe at the time nothing happened to these people. Maybe at the time this is what they thought, but let's fast forward now this 20 years forward where Drake Bell says nobody's really reached out to him. Nobody's apologized really. Nobody's really done anything about anything. And so for the hope that this quiet on set documentary will make a difference, I'm here to say, and it pains me to say this, I'm, I'm, it's not. Keep your children out of show business. It's one thing if they're 18 and they want to get involved in that, but you better be darn sure if your child's involved in any way, shape, or form with any of this, the predation is all around. No one is safe. And vulnerable kids are most at risk. And what child is invulnerable? And what I want you to understand about this, as these now adults, these once kids, Things went over their heads. They didn't know about certain things. Their parents were naive and did not know or guardians on the set about certain things. These groomers, these predators are so patient and so smart. I feel like every day, although I am immersed in child trafficking, exploitation, it's getting worse and worse by the second. I know we have the internet, so a lot of stories come forth, headlines, But when I'm seeing a school teacher, uh, a coach, uh, a mom, uh, all of these things, it is more of something I talk about all the time. This immersion, this brainwashing, the normalization of the sexualization of our children. And while I'm on this subject, let me finish up with one thing. Well, two things. I want to tell all of you, I'm urging all of you, show business is not glamorous. It is grungy. It is hard work. Let your child be a child. 
That's number one. Number two, I want to address something. I've had many people write to me. I did a video fairly recently on the Oscar-winning film starring Emma Stone, Poor Things. Now, although, here's what a lot of you missed out there. Poor Things, yes, it was rated for adults. Whatever ratings mean these days, because with the internet and kids have and teens unfettered access with their devices, anybody can watch anything. I think we can all agree on that. So I did a video with Melissa Henson, who is the president of the Parents Television and Media Council, talking about how harmful this movie is. It is indeed harmful. And the response was it wasn't made for children. Let me repeat what I just said. Because you, perhaps, allow your children to have unfettered access on their devices, this is opening a front door. You give your child a device and the internet, that is opening your front door and allowing the world to come in. So there's no more with these ratings and all that because kids can access basically anything with a few clicks. So dig a little deeper is what I like to say. I'm going to get back to my old saying where I used to post things and just put, you know, hashtag dig deeper. It is about access and the kids have access to everything. And you know, when something is made for adults, you know, teens are going to go in and want to try to watch these things. Or if they hear there's sex scenes in there, they're going to want to watch it. And this movie is detrimental to our children, to our teens, to young people. I'm going to leave it at that. Go back and find that video. In the meantime, subscribe. Make sure you're subscribed to our channel. I really want to build numbers. I want to build community. Our hashtag is community creates change. I want to get information out there to you. And remember, ratings don't matter. Kids have access to everything these days unless you step in to intervene, protect. Talk to them about what's going on. They're very smart, the kids. Have the conversations with them. And as far as quiet on set, it is shocking that we have not had more reaction out of Hollywood, out of uh, now adult actors, anybody. Everybody's quiet, quiet, quiet. But they're not quiet about all the unimportant things. This is important. I urge you, watch Quiet on Set if you haven't, the five-part documentary. And we'll come back around to talking about it because I think we have to keep this out there and keep talking and talking. Children cannot be led to slaughter, so to speak. Kids are kids. Let them be kids. Remember each and every day, be a warrior.